is Vanessa. And Vanessa, um, we do a Tuesday evening uh, called Jumpstart Bible Study that's really connected to the Hope House. And uh, Vanessa has been faithful there, I think, from the very beginning. Yes, this is Vanessa. My story kind of begins uh, just like everybody else's. It started when I was a kid. Um, I was just like Jamie. I was that kid. I was always picked on. I always felt kind of weird in my own body. Um, other than that, I was a great kid, <laughs> so I thought. And so I look back on my life, and everything that I got myself involved in was to draw attention away from my home life and just focus it on the good things. So I kind of became this Jekyll and Hyde person. So this went on for years and years, and I became suicidal. And after years of this, I just I didn't want to live. All I had was the empty shell of a person um, that I knew. And I was still trying to be the, you know, put on the face, put on the mask, participate in family functions. Oh, Vanessa's fine. Nothing's wrong with her. But on the inside, I was still just dying. I felt such self-hatred um, that I, I can't even, like Jamie said, it's hard to even describe it today because I look at where I was and I look at where I am and I'm like, thank goodness. I started drinking, I started partying a lot, I wouldn't go home, I'd sleep in my car, and this is in Seattle. This is, <laughs> we don't do that in Seattle. Um, and then one day in the middle part of July, I uh, did my run. I used to run in lots of layers and, and uh, binge and purge before, then go run again, then come back. And so I did that, it was a really hot day, and I managed to hydrate myself really bad. And I came home, hit the fridge, had to throw up, so I did that. and. Apparently, I dehydrated myself so bad that I knocked myself out. I fell on the toilet, got a concussion, and I don't know how long I was there, but I woke up, and I can remember um, my brain telling my body to get up off the floor, but I couldn't move. And I thought, well, that's really weird. I've always been in control of myself. Why isn't this working? So I managed to get up, and I fell down again. And I just remember thinking, please don't tell me that I screwed up myself, that I can't function right. But I remembered a place of hope.com. So I went online and I looked and I just, I remember sitting in my office bawling and I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is, it's an eating disorder clinic. And I was just thinking for you know, three or four days ago, I have a serious problem. How am I ever going to find a place to get help? On August 17th, a month later, after I fell and hurt my head, I uh, gave up everything. I had a a little, uh, a best friend of mine had a little girl who came up to me and uh, we had a, a welcome home party. And here I am contemplating suicide in the back of my mind, just wanting to be done with this life that I created. And then she put her little hands on my face and she just says, I love you, Auntie Nessa. <laughs> and uh, here's this beautiful, perfect little creature who could have cared less about anything else in the world other than she loved me. And that unconditional love was such a turning point for me. I carry her picture around on the other side of Dr. Jansen's uh, email. And this is her on that day. So on August 17th, I gave up uh, a seven-year relationship with bulimia 